Hi guys, I'm Shruti. Welcome to the first episode of 2023 on Game Night with Ed. And today I have a very special guest with me who's been with us on a podcast episode as well. And today we are here to talk about her very special brand. So without any further ado, let's welcome Hina. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Lovely How are you? Good. Good. Come, come, sit. Thank you. Welcome again on my new series. How have you been? How Good. are things? How have you been? Very well. Uh, lots of new things happening. Very exciting. Uh, been for sure way more happier than the last time. And yeah, um, it's been good. God's grace has been good. Yeah, you look good and it's fine. Like I, from the last time I saw you, there's no change. It's the, it's the same. So good. Um, so talk to me about your new brand that we that you've launched in 2022, and it's a jewelry brand. And the last time we spoke about was your influencer journey. You know the whole journey. And today we are here to talk about your very special brand. Um, so talk to me about that, like. Why jewelry? What? So, uh, technically, to be honest, the brand uh, brand's vision is to go in the accessory segment, not just jewelry. Okay. Uh, we've started with jewelry because uh, it's just one step towards a uh, future. So, eventually, we do want to launch like bags, sunglasses. Yeah. Um, I'm multiple like all kinds of accessories basically we wanted it to be like an accessory one-stop shop yeah. uh, but uh, uh, so like my registration like I was just mentioning before the cameras got on was that I had uh, done the registration actually two three years back you'd already registered the yeah. brand because I had in my mind everything okay. the so name it's like been long and, since yes, the planning yes. is going on but COVID hit and uh, I also got demotivated in that section because uh, one, the atmosphere wasn't right. Yeah. And two, I just wasn't sure if it's the right time to launch. And I feel also it's universe's way to kind of stop you because honestly, at that point, my vision wasn't clear. I just knew that uh, I wanted to go in accessory segment. So I just uh, put it put, put in paperwork and got everything sorted. Yeah. But I honestly didn't have uh, a, a great clear. vision, a clear yeah. uh, mindset of what I want to do with the brand. What is my language? It, yeah. it was just something... I wanted to call something my own. I got every all the paperwork. Yeah. Um. So that was the mindset behind it, and yeah. is still. Um. As for now, we are concentrating on jewelry to kind of um have at least start mar- uh, be in the market, kind of uh, build engagement, uh, have a loyal customer base, and then slowly launch uh, one or two things as it comes. So the vision um, is big. Yeah. It's not just limited yeah. to the jewelry. Yeah. But it will have and anything we couldn't, related uh, to the accessories. Yeah, and we couldn't launch everything together because it's a chaos there. Yeah. You need to have uh, something that your brand is known for and then you kind of go into uh, different segments. Like be it any of uh, big brands, small brands, they always start at a vision and then they see that now we have space to expand. Yeah. Um, then you can't just be like, I do clothes also, shoes also, bags also, yeah. everything. All together at yeah. once. Then it overwhelms the audience. audience and then you like, don't know what you're known like for. What is yeah. the brand for? Like, what yeah. does the brand yeah. stand for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so true. Um, that's, true. that's the vision for now. And uh, in fact, we already have got our bells made. They are behind the scenes. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. well, they should launch now uh, anytime soon. Okay. Just are they jeweled the bells or something? Yeah, they are. They okay. are beaded, uh, beaded thread work bells. So, yeah, things are um, in place and uh, very exciting that uh, I, I finally did uh, make one of my dreams come out of I understand papers. that feeling <laughs> actually. I understand yeah, that yeah. feeling because last year when I started this, I was, I didn't care about anything. I was just happy to do it. You know, when I went back home after doing it, I was like, I'm going to die happily. Like, I'm going to die that with that tick mark that, okay, I did that, you know, like I didn't die with that, oh, I wish I'd, I'd done that, you know, and it's a very big thing. People think that validation is not everything, the external validation, but I think when you do something that you love and you care about and you are passionate about, I think it gives you a different level of confidence and it, and it does something to your personality where you're like, okay, you know, you, you have that thing where, okay, I can do something, I can build something. I can go that one step yeah, further. Definitely. And for me, I, I'm always like uh, 
since childhood my upbringing is such that i've always been very grateful for whatever comes sometimes even uh, when things don't work out i always feel like it's for the best and uh, yeah i've i've always been very grateful like even if uh, for example something didn't work out and i didn't meet my targets in terms of numbers i always feel there's a blessing behind it mm-hmm. and yeah i definitely i i truly believe that there is um and every time you can't receive like be it my content creation or this uh, every day i can't make the same sales numbers every day i can't uh, have the same video views every video can't be viral so you just uh, have that behind your mind that you know um, every day can't be the same every video can't but how be do you like do you tell yourself to do that or like it does it come naturally because it's not no 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 it's uh, it's now come with some kind of spiritual practice to be honest uh, initially it was all very very frustrating um in fact i'll give you an example even with my brand since we are talking about it so we've done a few shows and every show sales are different but our hard work is the same right just like in my content creation every video's hard work is more or less the same yeah. but uh, the numbers are completely different sometimes the least worked video on kind of goes viral and sometimes the video we put the most effort in it doesn't doesn't, doesn't work. perform at all yeah um and same thing with this like uh, there was a show we did recently the amount of work we had put in was the maximum but uh, in terms of sales it was the least we performed and the first or second shows actually we didn't really blow uh, as much and we didn't put as many efforts and honestly they were bang on in terms of sales so um eventually uh, not in your control it's not and then might as well like sometimes it's the time forget about it sometimes it's also like um, because we are dependent on somebody else's uh, marketing tactics and this there's, there's multiple factors even in a video what time you upload to yeah, who it is so many your topic yeah thumbnails so you or whatever there's so much to yeah, do right yeah. you can't fixate um, on that yeah anyways so this setup is very interesting let yeah, me tell you what we're going like. to do since this is the first episode of game night with us in 2023 so we thought we'll just you know Like to do a little toast for a cheers <laughs> with like a guava martini that we're going to make. Lovely. So let's start. Definitely. You'll have to guide me though. I yeah, absolutely sure. no idea. So I am not like a pro at this, but yeah. I've like watched the video, so I know <laughs> okay. what to do. So just cool, first cool. take the lemon wedge. Okay. And then we can. I'm just going to follow your lead. Yeah, yeah. This. Just just take one lemon wedge. Okay. Wait, let me take it. Yeah. Okay. And now just like do this on the rim. Okay. As if. And just rotate the glass. Once it's like, like complete circle, mm-hmm. then you can just put it back. And then you can dip it in this salt, chili mixture. Oh, crazy! Salt and chili powder. Good. Okay. And then we can just keep it here. Yeah. Nice. Good. Oh wow! This looks good. This looks really good. <laughs> Um so now what we are going to do is we're going to open our cocktail shaker okay and we're going to add all the components inside so this is first we're going to add lemon juice okay okay now i'm just going to wing it okay i'm, I'm not so a pro like <laughs> mixologist or something so i'm just going to wing it i'm just going to put some lemon juice and you can do the same and that will be followed by a little bit of sugar syrup again like you know just just, just wing it yeah, yeah. if it's bad we can put lemon in it and it's going to be fine <laughs> just sugar syrup i'm so bad with anything then making in the kitchen cooking drinks no, no you're going to love this hopefully i love eating and i love drinking <laughs> <laughs> then we'll follow it up with the guava yeah. juice. Again, we're just gonna. This like looks it. simple. Doesn't look very hard. Yeah, because uh, we chose. I chose a very simple yeah. recipe for the first time. Okay, done. Okay, just just keep it there, and then we'll add a little bit of salt. Like so, for me as well, because I absolutely yeah. have no idea. But that's fine. I hope like you don't say that I put too much. But that's it. So, yeah. I think. Okay. Now we'll add some ice cubes ice. to do it. <clears throat> okay. Here. You can add as much as you want. However cold you want it yeah, to be. Not much actually. Okay. 
I hope it tastes good. Yeah, I'm very scared because we've just winged yeah. everything here. That's it, right? So now you just cover it, okay? And shake and yeah, do the like just just shake it properly. This is nice. It's very cold. Yeah. So have you done this before? No. No. I mean, I have uh, for. Protein shake. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> this is not a protein shake. I've done the shake. It was okay, I think it should be yeah, fine. Yeah. So just remove this upper ka top, top yeah. and then we can just add it in the glass. Okay. I hope it's good. Fingers crossed. <laughs> okay. It looks fine. Yeah. I hope it tastes good. Nice. Yeah. Looks I'm good. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm proud yeah. of us. Looks looks very good. Looks very, very tempting. interesting. Very tempting. Chalo, let's do a cheers, cheers and a final. Should we put olives in it or what? Oh, uh, you can put olives. I just kept it aside if okay, you want to eat. Fine. No, so, yeah, yeah, I can eat. So it doesn't splash, you know. Chalo, okay. what are we cheersing for? Cheersing to the new year. Cheersing to and the new year. Energies. Many more yes. dreams come true yes. in this year. Yes. And travel the world. Yes, tra yes, traveling the world. Cheers to our audience as well. Cheers. Happy New Year. You have to try it. You can't cheers and put oh, down yes. the drink. Oh, it's good. It, it, it is. It I'm, is spicy I'm happy because of the rim. <laughs> it's, it's, it's amazing, actually. Yeah, it was quite nice. High five. Like, we did a good job, yeah. It's really yum. Yeah. So, talk to me about. How do you choose the design? Like, what is the design aspect, the creativity aspect of, you know, creating jewelry? And how, what, what inspires you to create designs? So, uh, there's a lot that goes into it. And I truly believe to own a brand, you don't need to be the designer. Um, which I'm not. Uh, what I do is, we have a team. Um, so, basically, we have a team that we've hired that does designing and then uh, we meet the manufacturers and kind of put it in production. Of course, everything runs by me and uh, I would like to put uh, my personality into it. Like personally, um, I love statement jewelry. So like this piece that I'm wearing, of course, is by my brand as well. So I really love yeah, it. Thank you. So um, I like to put that statement, the bling, that's my personal taste. And of course, I uh, then you also ask the designers to design something for more. Us, not everybody will have that bold taste like I do. Um, so we, of course, will have like smaller pieces. Yeah, so uh, the design process is more like uh, I kind of check the market trends also, as well as I want to put my personality into them. Um, and of course, uh, I leave it to the designers and uh, kind of do the approval work so that I know that because I have a lot of market knowledge. Um, I don't uh, claim to sit and make the jewelry yeah yeah you like the vision is yours yes but it's translated yes. by yes. the designer because, you know, I've, I've, with my content creation one big lesson that i learned was you can't do it all i used to do everything by myself from um doing the management calls to even shooting to editing um talking to the audience everything like a to z i used to be like a one man army yeah and it burnt me out like never before um i eventually did have to hire a team now i have a team of managers i have a talent management company that i'm under i had to hire a content team that i was just so frustrated overall i had to give my uh, even photography i should like know everything i'll do by myself so i started doing more outsourcing so now it makes more sense because 24 hours I'm not worried. Yeah. Um, it's delegated. I'm now worried about managing it, um, which is what I feel even for my brand. Because if I start to do uh, the groundwork, I have to have the knowledge. But if I start doing that, I can't concentrate you can't, on doing You can't brand do things. micromanagement, yeah, yeah. I feel. And, but I also feel there's one thing that in today's time, it's not even easy to get a team that will understand your vision. Of course. It's really hard. But I'll tell you, uh, team building and people uh, will always keep moving. Very few will be your permanent ones. And even those can, uh, you should always remember, will can just go away. Just like life is so uncertain. Um, I think it's the same with your team. And you ask any business, the yeah. biggest issue is uh, staff management. Yeah. Any. Go to a restaurant, uh, ask them what's their biggest issue, they'll say HR. People management in general is like the most important yeah, thing, yeah. right? Like 
it is the nowadays most important because, and the most difficult yeah nowadays because ai was, is going to take over most jobs the only thing the only skill that's going to matter is your people skills yeah, is yeah, your communication yeah, skills yeah, that's so true. i feel like and it's always been that case but now since you know technology and ai taking over it's going to be even more yeah, definitely and people are going to realize yeah. it even more the, the intensity of it yeah. yeah um talk to me about from an influencer to becoming an entrepreneur what are some of the challenges that you faced that you were like you had to encounter and you like overcame them that that you want to share um so many it's a uh, two different journeys however i do believe that if influencing has uh, reached a certain level is also uh, being an entrepreneur to be honest because uh, you only content creation just for uh, let's just say i am passionate about it and i create content uh, okay you will get some views and but to sustain and to kind of make money it has to be a business so that is being an entrepreneur and like you know kind of uh, handling your team and back end staff and then it's just a different uh, so i i would just like to say there are two different businesses it's just a different yeah. space yeah i would like eventually it's you know, the same uh, mentality yeah. like there are just two different businesses for me and uh, one constantly requires my face and the other one can function without my face <laughs> about what is the one must have skill or quality that you you know you think that an entrepreneur should definitely have because it's it's very different from you know other like when you're an influencer you're just, like you know you're collaborating with brands and you don't have the final pressure of that that whole brand doing well per se you know your content will definitely help but here it's all on you yeah so what are some of the skills that you feel like are absolutely like needed for an, in an entrepreneur um i think there's a certain kind of fire that's needed okay um, there's no per se skill because there are hundreds of skills that you need to be honest and uh, there's basic ones i think everybody knows you need to of course know the ins and out out of the industry you are in number 2 financially uh, yeah. you really need to have a lot of knowledge mm. because uh eventually a business is about numbers and if you don't know how to deal with the numbers then it's quite a big fail right you just yeah. can't be keep doing and you don't know how to deal with your finances yeah. so those are like two big skills um three is leading kind of uh leading your team um team and uh, time management these are the few basic ones that i think um uh, are common for pretty much every yeah. business yeah. Uh, for that matter um for me the biggest is the fire you need the fire yeah. inside you to kind of do well yeah. to wake up every day and be like yes i'm i love it i want to do this and i really want this to go somewhere because it's tiring i'll tell you within 2 months i, I was agree. tired i was like what am i what have i got myself same into? i felt the same with the podcast yeah, yeah. i was like i'm tired but again the thing that you mentioned that fire to keep going yeah, yeah. that's what like kept me yeah, going yeah. so i completely agree yeah. with that great on that note we'll take one more step yes definitely Yes. Yeah. Now we'll move to a little bit more fun segment. It's called in one word. I'm going to ask you a few questions, and you have to answer those questions in one word. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, Let me I get guess. my phone. <laughs> Let me get my phone. Okay. Brace yourselves. Here it comes. Okay, jewelry to me is statement. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I love that. I like that. One thing I wish to achieve with Anana is I want to be in every household and just uh, kind of make people. It's not a one-word answer, sorry, but uh, I want to be in every household, and I really want people to understand that accessories can. really change how you feel and yeah. uh, in terms of even fashion and styling i've done it so for so many years i believe that you could wear the same outfit again and again if you could yeah, just change yeah you just style it with accessories styling and that's always been the crux of why i've done what i've done um, uh, so it just makes sense to have this brand and uh, yeah, yeah. kind of have that message out there yeah i just want to say i also feel like it makes sense for you because yeah. i I see, you know, today also that you accessorize yeah. perfectly, yeah. and I'm not someone yeah. like I. All I, my idea of accessorizing is a watch. Watch. 
that's and, and some like some earrings which i'm also not wearing today. and that's for me like doesn't exist but then i'm like i love when people can you know yeah. do a lot of some accessories yeah. and make it look good without doing it without looking over the top but yeah. like looking and also it's about kind of changing the look for me uh, for example i'm wearing like this same outfit but i wore like just simple studs and yeah. like you know very simple accessories i changed my shoes and yeah. uh, put put my hair a bit different yeah. it completely becomes a more house party look or like yeah. you know more cash um, or it could even go for a business meet like a fashion right. business meet so it right. really does depend how you play with your accessories True. and your uh, your garments and then are not just a one way track you can do so much with it yeah yeah i agree i agree I feel like looking at you. I want to like start my I'll journey help. of I'll accessorizing. Help. Well, yeah, I will need help. By the way, oh, the best thing about working with a family member, like say for example, yeah. earlier your husband was a part of this, and now he is focusing on another yeah, venture, yeah, and yeah. now you you know got your mother on board. Yeah, yeah. So, how is it? Like, what the best thing about working with a family member? What do you think it is? One um, best thing. Best thing is that uh, there's just so much rapport that uh, we share, especially with my mother, because I've done uh, so much work with her since yeah. the beginning. Be it content creation, she's been a part at the back end. Uh, she was with me shooting at Paris Fashion Week, so I did not oh. have a photographer. She shot everything at Paris wow. Fashion Week. Yeah, uh, she's always been a part. Uh, so she also has a brand uh, in the beauty section where she da- makes like beautiful serums and. Oh, nice. She does line. a lot of yeah skincare, even like uh, herbal teas and all of that. So um, even in that, I was the creative head. Uh, she used to do this. Uh, she used to have this exhibition company. Again, I I used to do the marketing there. So we've always worked together a lot. Yeah. And I have a great rapport with her. So the best thing is comfort. Yeah. We can really just. Uh, And and it's unfiltered comfort. Yeah, you can say things like it is. Yeah, you don't need to like sugarcoat. Yes, whatever it is. If I don't like something, I can say it. If I love something, I can say it. If I've enjoyed, I can say it. Yeah, and also spiritually, we speak the same language. Possibly, I've learned it from her. Uh, But we both have this thing that being grateful every day. We kind of do grateful exercises. We do meditation every morning. So we're kind of on the same page in terms of uh, chatting on those bases. So I, I. Personally, feel comfort. That's lovely, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. It's like having comfort food every day. <laughs> wow, that's the best line. Yeah. <laughs> the star. Uh, one thing that makes Anana unique is. So Anana's uh, Anana, what makes it really unique is uh, we focus on our customers rather than ourselves. Um, most of the brands have this. Um, is what I've noticed. I could be wrong. Is that uh, they want to focus on what they like, but I've always focused on uh, what my audience likes. And uh, it, it, for me, the best thing about Anana is that it brings two worlds together, okay. which is uh, what what somebody else would like, but still having my personality to it. Um, another beautiful thing about my brand is. Oh, I want to cater to everybody. Uh, okay. I all wanna, age groups, all, all age demographics, groups, all uh, budgets. Like, if you come to me, I want to be able to cater to pretty much every budget, and I don't want somebody to feel disappointed that I, I, I want to be an aspirational brand, but not to a level that I can never afford this. Um, I always want somebody to be able to afford at least, even if it's a small piece of it. I'd always yeah. want them to have. So I think that. Um, Mindset behind the brand is what uh, is yeah. the most unique uh, to Anana. I think that's where the reach and the uh, you know ex- uh, scaling comes. Yes, yes. Like when you are that kind of a brand, yeah. where you have a product for everyone yeah, and yeah, all definitely. kinds of products, okay. yes, it reaches more people. Yes, and you know, uh, I'll tell you, money is in masses. Yeah. Um, as much as we want to say niche, of course there is a niche as well. There are two different ball games. Um, and there is a way that you can um, mix the two. Yeah. Um, it's in a fine some balance. Way. Yeah, it's a fine play. balance. Like how um, you know, like high-end brands have like a prep line. Yeah. Where they do want to reach to masses, right? That's the only reason they yeah. got. They this. want people yeah. to. And to be so honest, aspirated. that's where they earn. You yeah. are. You go to any luxury brand. Their sales are not from the uh, big bags that are the most expensive. It's from their wallets and belts, belts and like stuff. you know, like the yeah. small accessories because you want to have a part of the brand the card holder that uh, is budget friendly to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice.
the star piece of the nana jewelry is like at the wow. moment what do you feel I like see. is the current i i i'm not to say the collection, the collection. Uh, rather than um, one piece, piece yeah okay. so we recently launched lot of like cocktail jewelry oh, okay we sub Parts like the one it, you're yeah, wearing yeah. right now, even yeah, even the looks... ring and the bracelet, everything is a part of this cocktail jewelry nice. collection. So I'm I'm honestly very proud of this collection. Um, I just I personally love such pieces, and I feel yeah. like they're way more versatile than the Indian jewelry. Hmm. Though we do have that, I do feel that Indian jewelry is confined to just Indian looks. Yeah. Uh, but I know the other day my mom wore this jewelry with like a. Sari yellow or dress, a okay. Indian dress. She was going for a haldi function, and she wore this, and it looked like a yeah. This would look very yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. So you know, uh, for me, I, I love pieces that are versatile personally also, and I'm always invested in those. Yeah. And so this whole collection is like that. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so yeah, this it my cocktail collection. I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to check out more Definitely. pieces from this collection. <laughs> so yeah, the cocktail collection is like my favorite. Oh, right the now. cocktail collection yes. <laughs> only makes sense. Yeah. So now we'll move to a game segment. So we clear the setup. Yeah, sure. And we're going to play a fun game with you. Sure, definitely. I'm ready. Should we start? Yes. So this is our game setup. <laughs> we're going to play Jenga. Have you played before? Not really. Are you? I've seen it, and uh, I've always avoided the situation. <laughs> <You> always avoided. <laughs> yes. Why? Just it looks a bit scary. I feel like I'm gonna pull it out and the whole thing is gonna oh, fall. Oh, you're yeah. scared because yeah. like out of like some clumsiness, yeah, you're gonna yeah, like make it yeah, fall. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Should I be like uh, hoping to win? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You should. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm also let's like try, let's that. try. <laughs> okay. So let's start. Who's gonna go first? Oh, you do that first. Hmm. You wanna put me under the bus first? Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, you have to find the one that can slip out, is it? No. You, or any of them would. I'm not out, giving right? away my strategy. No, but I have no idea how how this is being played. Like. Yeah, yeah you just. just uh, yeah, okay. yeah. You press okay. and then you check. You kind of check. Okay, fine. Because otherwise, so then. Yeah, the whole thing will just will just come out. Oh yes. <laughs> This is very scary. It is actually. Oh wow! From the bottom, nice. Keep it now like this. Okay. Yeah. One is horizontal, okay, one is vertical. Oh, I'm scared. Oh. All. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <clears throat> Shut up. No, slip off that. This is very, very scary. Got it, huh? I feel like this is going to fall now anytime. Don't say that, yeah. <laughs> Not on my turn, at least. Please, God. Oh, oh God, this is shaking. Oh. <laughs> got it, got it. You saved yourself. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, easy. Oh, oh, oh. There's a when there's a will, there's a way. Yes, you find yes. it. If you want to look for it. Oh wow! I'm, I think I'm not choosing the right one. Nice. No, but I feel you're doing like a great job. Choosing like the building parts of it, and it's just getting shaky. Okay, done. This every is pressure. Every minute we are like, <laughs> <laughs> this is pressure. Every minute we are like, what's gonna happen? Who's gonna make it fall? And how long now it's all like all, all the pieces yeah, are like the, gone now gone. okay 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 that's guts <laughs> guts guts that really was guts chalo okay. oh wow smooth easy. huh yeah nice found one super easy i am kind of not very hopeful now oh, that God. the tower yeah. is looking 
it's looking oh, shaky and already and it's, it's shaking also like yeah, yeah it clearly it shows that we've not played this game enough our hands are shaking yeah oh wow oh wow but you're very smooth ah huh, hina just i don't know i, I don't really that you've not played I'm this just before i'm randomly doing this <clears throat> what will the loser do <laughs> let's let's figure out something what should we ask the since loser? it's your game naira i'll leave that up to you scary <laughs> no since you are the guest i'll ask you we could have had oh, we can down the drink but it's not well, that kind of yeah, a drink and i'm yeah. scared oh. oh god no 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 oh my <laughs> <laughs> wait this you. is like really tight here oh my god no it's stuck <laughs> it's stuck and you really have gambled this one You can't put it back, can you? Are you being upset? Okay. <laughs> chill, chill, chill. No cheating, chill. Okay. Oh, What we can do is either the loser will post on an Instagram story okay. that this person is the best at playing Jenga. Okay. And without giving any explanation. Okay. The loser will post that. Okay. Or like the yeah the the winner will give the caption what the loser has to post. Oh God. Okay. That I'm the best. <laughs> I Are you agreeing on it? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay. okay. I have not heard it properly. My mind is here, but okay. Okay, do whatever. I'm very scared because it's going to be any minute now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This doesn't seem to stay. I'm Come so on. confused. What to do now? You can do it. You can do it. You've been very good so far. Okay. Wait. Wow. Guts. Oh, it's I didn't. <laughs> wow. Okay. Guts. Done. Done. My turn. Are you sure you want to play with the bottom one? <laughs> It's like I was just the foundation checking. of everything. I was just checking. You never know. Physics is a very <clears throat> tricky thing. I'm very scared. I don't think I can I I'll get one now. <gasps> my god. You saved my life. How long do we play this? Until somebody. Until this falls. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. This is a tough one. Wow. This is. Oh my god. This is. It's literally shaking from every <laughs> angle now. Oh fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to. You want to take that out? Wait. All of them are just. And and our options already done. I feel like this game gave me the kick that's missing from here. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait. Wow. Solid. Nice. Yeah. Smooth. This is like shaking now. Completely shaking. Oh. I think try one of these. No. 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 Shake kar raha pura. Ah. I was thinking of trying this one. <laughs> no, no, no! I'm scared. It's like it's gonna fall. If I do this, it's gonna fall. Please, God! No, it's. Go I think it's gonna fall. What do you think? I have no idea. I you are you are planning your caption, be, no? You know, you're in in the mind. It should be fine. If you plan, no, I don't think it's gonna be fine. No, no. no. Oh my God! This one maybe. Will this move? It can't. It's it's like, <laughs> oh my god! One of these. Wait, wait, wait. यहाँ से कुछ. हाँ, okay, okay. Yeah. अब तो ये भैया अभी तो ये कभी भी गिरने वाला है. अब तो मतलब कुछ नहीं है. अब कुछ नहीं बचा है इसमें. Any time now. Yes. <clears throat> Guts. <laughs> that is truly guts, and I would be like over the moon if you pull that off. Yeah, okay, give Jaiga. It's a, it's a kind of story. You're yeah. like, "Hatta yeah. mugan of a game." No, 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 wait. No, no, do it, do it. <laughs> This one really <laughs> it. was. It really is shaking. I don't have many choices to work with. <gasps> no. No. <laughs> I don't know how that came along. 
isn't this also part of what we can nahi ye idhar tha okay fine it, this is empty so okay. i picked it from here okay fine that's fine you have to do it from above it's fine okay ab ye ab is going to be shaking now there's nothing like now there's nothing come on oh god i don't know what to like take <laughs> out so scared <gasps> no nahi matlab mai to i am not saying no but i was like i don't know what to take out then matlab not many options are left yeah you have to take a risk oh god wait <gasps> <laughs> no if this stands if you remove this i don't know what to believe in life then oh my god oh my god okay stay 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 I'm stay scared. stay should you ask <laughs> but now you have to take it out yeah of course i will but it's just some it's everything good for <laughs> Oh god chalo this was scary great you it was scary it was yeah, very yeah. scary we'll take this up later oh. it's okay like let's do the last last years. toast thank you for making me play this and making me lose oh <laughs> thank you for being such a sport and playing thank it you. it was really fun all in good fun and sport and now are we going to keep up yes the word let's, let's do of course it. let's do a story to my phone let's do it with this Yeah. With the fallen this thing yeah. nice yeah. i think you can save it also yeah now you can write the caption what uh, <laughs> at shruti palan is the best lol <laughs> in the world oh wow at playing jenga <laughs> trophy emoji trophy emoji <laughs> you've really thought this through ah <laughs> huh? I'm just uh, going along. Yeah. One more, and uh, yeah, I think this is yeah. fine. So this was the end. I had a lot of fun yeah. having you, and thank you so much for coming and being such a sport. This was like the <laughs> most fun beginning yeah, to my new year. series of the year that I could ever have. And so, cheers again. Cheers to and that. Thank you for having me and made a lovely drink, which we did not expect. And I was very scared. <laughs> Same here. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Thank Bye. you.